everyone, it's Vaki Wandi with you today on Flip TV with amazing talk of the youth, which we say, where were you? And my co-presenter for this talk this afternoon is... Yeah, I'm Christian Chukun. Welcome to uh, the program uh, Youth Talk. Yes, where were you, you youths? And I have my guest for today. I have my right hand, Mr. Stanley and Mr. Hello. Raphael. Welcome to Flip TV. Uh, yes, uh, we're going to start with uh, this topic. Are you ready to uh, take over uh, the destiny they have in their hands? Uh, over the years, we've heard that uh, uh, the youths are leaders of tomorrow, but the way we see things now, it seems that the youths have lost it. So the discussion is going to start uh, with, uh, with uh, what we're seeing today with the rush for people getting involved in politics and every other thing. I'll start with my brother, uh, with my brother Cap. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Raphael. <laughs> Mr. Raphael. Uh, Mr. Raphael. Yeah. Are, the, are the youths ready? Looking at what is actually happening in Nigeria. Mm. You see, uh, uh, Mr. Buhari made a, a point by saying Nigerian youths are lazy. Okay, so, is it was it wrong? Are the youths really mm. ready? As yeah. my co-president has said. To dispute that fact, Buhari is very, very wrong. For ha. saying that God, the youth are not lazy. If you say the youth are lazy, 100% youth in this country are working. Most of them are graduates. After finishing their university, they will end up in the street begging. Okay. They end up in the street doing other things. Then how do you say the youth are lazy? If they are youth are lazy, that means you have 100% Amorba in the states. Our youth are not lazy. We, are, we make sure that we are working hard to get our future destination, to get our future destination. So you don't tell me that I'm lazy. If I'm lazy, I hope you Wait, 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 wait. Let me cut you wrong. You see, in Nigeria, we have thousands of robbers look at what is happening you see do, do you watch the news this morning that that uh, the 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 suspected uh, client in Imo, Imo state mm. is that where were caught they saw the suspected you say they are whole youths i mean are you saying that youths are really really not lazy for they going into fraudulent acts no let, let's understand these youths are being lazy uh, they are hard working yes like my brother said you don't say it's are lazy. People wake up in the morning, they want to do something. Mm -hmm. Probably you want to do something and there's nothing to do. Even the youth in this Nigeria, if you go in America and other states, uh, in the Western states, the way our youth are hardworking, uh, you can't compare to that. Because most of them will have compared to side. The youth we have in Nigeria are very, very resilient. And ha I like my brother to contribute. Uh, you see, uh, when we talk about <laughs> the youth, I think the problem here is not about the youth itself. Nigerian youth are very hardworking. I yeah. can, it's very obvious. You see them striving at every situation and condition. The problem is that there is no platform. Thank you very much. There is no platform for them to operate, for them to be productive. There is no platform, no opportunities given. Yeah. Just like you mentioned, you know, if you see our youth, going abroad, they strive, they do very they well, do. because yes. there are many things for them to explore. They utilize their strengths, they, they are very productive, but coming to our country, our beautiful country, uh, Nigeria, is quite unfortunate. How many industries do we have in the country? You know, how many job opportunities do we have? And even when you are looking for a job, you know, they will tell you, uh, you have to be a graduate, you must have done a while say with 15 years experience <laughs> how is that possible you know <laughs> so all these challenges are there and that's why it seems as if the youth are lazy but i can categorically say that the youth are not lazy but uh, let me say one thing about youth being lazy some youth are uh, hard working but they are not smart mm. okay there's a difference between hard working you you are doing something you're working not, hard you're and working smart, smart. You're not smart uh, okay you don't know how to navigate your way in order to get what you want so one of the problems that i see with the statement of uh the mr president the one who supports him i would say that most youths they are just hard working but they are not working smart mm. that's the issue as a young person <coughs> there are other people that will do the same thing you are doing they'll succeed but some people do not succeed exactly because they are not working, that's right. working that's smart. Right. Yeah. That's right. You see, uh, like you said, that the youth are not smart. In a way, you know, looking at what the people, where were you? Where were the youths of Nigeria? Where were we as, a, as youths? You know, when the leaders, the, the elders, our grandpas ruling, in the, according to the history of Nigeria, youth has been the one controlling this country. Do you know? Mm -hmm. But since our century, but youths are nowhere to be found. Virtually everyone that ruled Nigeria ruled in youth. 
Buhari ruled in his youth, Abu Salam ruled in his youth, Awolowo ruled in his youth, uh, Namdi Azigwe ruled in their youth. But you see, the thing, things have changed now. Hmm. They are afraid to those, go out. They don't want to vote. Hmm. You know, I, 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 I was able to talk to some of the youth last, uh, the last previous week. You know, we, they like they don't want to vote. They don't want to even care. Uh, going, they said there's nothing. They cannot do anything. They are even saying they prefer Tinubu and this. Yeah, fine, you can prefer anyone. But you, as a youth, what role do you take? You know, in this election, in what is happening in Nigeria, where were we youth? Now, um, when it comes to voting and other things, if I if I may say that the last time I voted was 2007. My PVC is over 10 years now. I have not used it. Why? Because I have not seen the right leader. Apart from the late uh, year I do Means you have never been voting. I don't have time to and vote. And you have the PVC. Yes. Wow. It must be because, a conviction. Because <laughs> I, I have not seen. <laughs> all this. This is now. Politician is now is now what, what we call party party government. Some some have turned it into a family meeting. So it's not it's not something that you say you go there today. You know the right person, they won't do the right thing. Mm -hmm. The youth, the last protest, the youth went for a protest, a peaceful protest. Same person that they made did, the answers. Yes, the same person that that caused the blunder is the same person that is coming out to be a president today. The where are the youth? Okay, let me let my voice to that. Uh, youth, they are getting uh, being part of the election electoral process. Mm -hmm. You see, one thing I say, youth are not smart because. Uh, bef those people that are ruling us now, when they were young people, they understood the political terrain. What? They understood how things worked. Mm -hmm. So they are able to navigate their way. If you are someone, yeah, that, well informed. If you are someone that drives, you are a skillful driver. Eh? Sometimes you might not need to look too much before you reverse. You, you do some yeah. because you have, those people, they know their way in politics. But the youth we have today, they are ignorant. They're just Mm. They don't understand. Ignorance. They don't understand the political process. The system, the way Not ready work. to learn. You see, some of these people, the, these are people that they come from one party to, other, to another. They understand how it works. Yeah. We have a Peter Obi movement. The obedient. There are people that say, "I rush for PVC. Yeah. We want to get a, 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 Peter Obi must enter there." Peter Obi himself understand there's a system that works. Yes. He, what he needs to do is to let these youths understand that this is the system. Who is that you create your own system that supersedes that system? Because if they have a system, their own system will work against you. Look at the answers. Mm -hmm. Why is it that when the the, the politicians they waited and we were watching, they were strategizing, they were watching the youths in exuberance and everything, doing all sorts. They were watching. They had to bring in the the, the touts and the uh, hoodlums that are youths also. So they understand if youths can understand the way political system work in Nigeria, they can make a change. That's they are right. hardworking, but they are not smart. Okay, Mr. Stanley, tell me, you as a youth, mm -hmm. now, our youths are not smart. Our youths are so, so, I mean, so much afraid. They are not just confident. A youth of, really, the youth of our century, do you agree with me or you oppose the motion that our youths are not smart? Our youths are so much afraid to face the um, panel, to face the government, to face election, to face the risk and the peaceful thing and to make un Nigeria a united country. Do you support the motion? Uh, not really. Why? Uh, the reason is because uh, I don't want to believe or I disagree that uh, we youths are afraid. You know, if you want to come about uh, boldness, you can bang your chest on Nigerian youths. Yeah. I think uh, I'd rather say that we are tired. We are tired. Someone I was discussing with a friend, a uh, youth as well, and uh, he said something so funny. He said, uh, Nigeria is ruled by our hero's past. Our hero's past that is still the one ruling us. It's like you are saying forever and ever, amen. That's what is happening in our politics exactly. today. That's what is happening. You know, <laughs> somebody that uh, your grandfather told you about in leading. I'm not saying that uh, they have nothing to offer. That's not the point. The point is, we want the youth of Ni the Nigerian youth want people who can visualize, who can think ahead, who can move with the century. Talk about technology. Talk about so many things. Not a uh, bag of rice and uh, no, 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 that, uh, little, little, no, 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 no,
Our youths are intelligent, but most are not smart. They are technologically inclined, but they are ignorant on the process or how to carry it out. We have youths who are, you know, advanced in terms of uh, exposure, but yet basic things that would have helped in the future, knowing things they don't understand. So all these things also play a role, a negative role in their understanding. And that's what he mentioned when he talked about uh, understanding the process of politics and what are the things you need to do, what do you need to. That's just the. That's so just it what means I want our to say. use needs to be to try and be well informed. Yes. About what I is like happening. My, my brother to also contribute to. Yeah, actually, <laughs> it's turned the right thing because when we talk about education, most of our youth are very very educated. Some will spend all their time in going to school, make sure to get that degree, to get what they want in school. But after everything, they will end up being a bricklayer or one or other, other things. So we need someone who can tell us the truth and who can, who can put us at the right place at the right time. Not someone who will come after giving in all our all, all, all our time at the end will put us aside. You two don't want that kind of. We need someone who will say yes. And the long run, you also say yes. When we say hello, sir, you say yes, come in. So we don't want someone who who just play a football, a football match after then going back to do one go. It's a very very bad game. So when you say yes, you let your yes be yes. These are the people the youth want today. You might you might have millions. Your millions cannot stand for you. Well, let me quote you wrong. Yes, these are the set of people the youth want today, as you say, but. Do you think well youths fold their hands and say let them do several years ago? Do you think there will be any change when you decide have decided to fold their hands? It's not sorry, so let me Because several <laughs> youths are not ready, like you said. <laughs> Ten years ago, my brother, you had PVC, but you decided not to use it. Does it mean there is just no, no one? Let's not crucify him. You see, no, no, no. We need to understand. I'm sorry. I have the reason for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to understand. I was I, one, sorry, sorry, sorry. Several I youths are like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm just using as a, as a as a point of contact. Okay. Several youths decided not to just have even PVC, not to just have any interest, and several youths decided to to fold hands. Does it mean Nigeria we continue this way in the name of they are not doing what we want? It doesn't mean that if you struggle to make a risk and fight a hard fight, in united we stand and huh? divided before. And divided before. If youth could come together and be united, do you don't think that Nigeria could be better? Uh, the, the area of PVC is not the only way we can change mm -hmm. Nigeria. Yeah, that's right. You can you can as well vote as much as you can. If you like vote from night tomorrow, if they change the results. At the end of the day, we'll be going to court from Thank you. year to year. All those things are year. tiring. Year to year, year to year. <laughs> okay, year and you know, see, see, the, see the I'm not comes. actually saying only PVC side. And that's what I'm let saying. Let the youth That you said, youth are not smart. And let's look at the area. Let, them, let them start from the scratch yeah. and keep following up, following up, you know, son. Let our young ones, teenagers, 21, 20, 20, 20, go into the politics and start learning understand the process till they get to that level by the time they are 30 they will get they will understand they will reach that if, if you there's keep a, there's, push, there's pushing. a lawmaker in lagos his name is desmond elliot he was an actor mm. yeah, mm -hmm. he got into power and he made a statement i was still in school then when he came he made a statement that he's learning the trade in the lagos state house assembly see there's a, there's a there's a thing with politics that you need to learn it when you learn it you can play that's right so most youths are not interested. We're not interested because of the bad governance. I don't blame them. But now that I see youths are interested, that's why I bring it up program like this so that we know that we tell people now that you're interested, try and understand what it is. So, so okay. Do you know, do you know why, why, why we are why we are I interested now? <laughs> the reason why we are interested <laughs> now. Eh? Yes. Now, if I if I if I'm not mistaken, this is our this is our sixteenth president. Yeah, sixteenth president. Mm -hmm. Right from one, this is the sixteenth president. There is no youth. Among them, Desp let me say, despite their youthful age, some, some, some candidate is their second time they are coming to contest for president. Why are they not giving the youth chance to come in? It's because of their selfish interest. So now the youth are tired. One will stand on our right and say yes and say no to the bad government. So now, that, okay. if we are voting today, 
Our vote will be counted here at the polling unit, but at the last stage, they will ring out the election. They, 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 what they will say, let's go to court. And when they get to court, when someone will drop 10 million, they don't want to drop 50 billion, who the other will just change. This is okay, something are you of black telling and white. The government that there shouldn't be uh, bribery and they corruption. There should stop bribery and corruption. Okay. No, let's no, know no. our let's know who is who. We want to know our rights. Yeah. Let's stand on our rights. And because of that, you see youths, <laughs> they want to an average youth after even graduates, they want to leave the country. Yeah. To yeah. come be better somewhere else. Because they know that my voice will not be heard. Even though I put in effort to be subdued, you know, I'll be oppressed, I'll be bullied. Well let so, me shock uh, you. These people traveling outside the country to for greener pasture, mm -hmm. they are passing through a lot out there. No, the lot I, I prefer passing through a lot there than <laughs> passing with a hope there? and vision. <laughs> There's a vision, there's hope. You can see that, okay, Although yes, they are, they are, not easy. They are different outside the country. They are different. Yeah, they are different. <laughs> if, you, if you cross to Canada, that is outside the country. That is outside. The hey. Well, that's okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> that's okay that's a, a lot of people are out there outside Nigeria that is not like Canada. That are really because in the name of trying to survive. Do you know Ghana is better? It's better to stay in Ghana than Nigeria. You know, to now, survive. There's electricity in Now, Ghana is better than Nigeria. Ghana. Ghana of yesterday. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. I, I we all know so. that currently I there's so. the light has been uh, no, just a general problem. That is on that Why? Why? Look at countries, even neighboring countries around. They are enjoying electricity. Nigeria, from the kingdom come, we're having the issue of electricity. When will things get better? So who, 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 who do we blame now? Is it the elders or the youths? Or the youths, yes. Who do we for the for the situation of Nigeria as a whole? Do we blame the elders or the youths? We all know that. If you are training a child, mm -hmm. the child has the freedom of choice to either do what is right or wrong. But we know what influences the environment, what blesses the child is the environment yeah. and how the child is being brought up. Mm -hmm. So we will start the blame from the elders. I'm not saying the youth should be exempted okay. at all because we all share from the blame, both the youth and the elders. But we we'll start from those who are leading us, the elders. If things are fixed rightly, if things are done well, if they create the opportunity, then we can see things to learn and look forward to. Yeah. Others coming with follow suits. But when we see bad government, bad government, there's nothing All to fall back to to learn. Well, Tinibu has promised that, that he said in a statement that uh, he's going to establish 50 billion, to, uh, employ, uh, make 50 billion youth. Is he the president? He said when he came, Mr. When Tinibu, we have had a lot of promises. What are of promises? He's not the president. What? <laughs> 50 know, billion? I'm not, wait, wait, wait. I'm not, I'm not making fun. I'm not. I'm just trying to say I'm a statement. I'm not concerned with what he's saying. It's a statement okay. that I saw that okay. Mr. Tunibu said. That wow. 50 billion, you do. Adela Faye. 50 million. Adela, Adela Faye. No, no, no. Adela Faye. Uh, 50 billion. billion. No, million. no, no. 50 million. 50 million. million. Okay. Bro, Adela Faye said that uh, it was uh, according to her. Well, it was a real news that uh, it's the, he, he meant uh, 50,000. Do you understand? But in the statement that I saw, it was 50 million youths, Mr. Tunubu said, maybe by mistake or by slip See, of tongue. Let's not, let's not bring in the Tunubu factor here. Let's, okay. We are talking about young people and let's reason yes. as young people. For me, I believe the old people, they have failed. All, some of them mm. are even closer to their grief. You understand? So because he made, a, he made a statement like, if our elders. Is that like, could make it to start the change? They have failed now, so what now, do we do? <laughs> now, you're saying Mr. Tunabu said if only we, if, if it's, if it's going to be fulfill that promise, it would be better because Obi did Obi said that when he was in government, when when he was the government of Anambra, he did it. Yeah, uh, Peter mm. Obi, yes, he did yeah. it. Every 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 first student every year, he almost he promised them one million and which he fulfilled till the standard round up. All the prefects in this, all the senior prefects, he gave them their phone number. Anytime they call him, he's going to respond. And he's not going there with, he's not sending any candidate, he's going there by himself to see if they are doing well or not. He promised and he did it. So these are the people we want. If Tunubu said, and Tunubu if. brought worry and if it's going to say 24 hours like that, every year they are going to do uh, 1 million jobs. <laughs> and where are the jobs? Uh, refinery each year. Each year. One refinery. It's not realistic. You understand? 
from uh, petrol from uh, one, 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 87 naira then oh, 65 naira oh god dollar that, 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 that petrol that you mentioned that is annoying me like seriously so let, let, this let's, morning let's leave them out of this know, issue. this let's, morning i was coming to the office do you know what so happened much. at uh, agege under a uh, benzema hi i saw several qd with queen alone I mean, so like what? I like seriously. I was like, what? And this money was ethic because there was no transportation. People were trekking. The traffic was not going, and the thing was just annoying. Like seriously annoying. Even bike. Yesterday it was a policeman that gave me a ride from the uh, uh, guest air, and he, we were talking about the bike, how the bike got banned, and this. So, so the policeman was like, now you people, now you are struggling to get a bike to take it at any amount of money. But they ban the bike now. You see this, this, this. so it's like, do it's actually safe. It, it's safe now, with so as they with, as with it, all these things happening. Why should we even talk about it? You know? For me, I don't think they are very, they are persons we need to discuss as okay. young people. I see so many young people are moving towards uh, the OB factor because OB has tried to uh, show them that he can do it. He can do the job, not by words with action. There's something about him saying the go, roads. Go and verify. Yes. Rose are very bad. Fun. I heard uh, a report just now mm -hmm. that the new CGN uh, was born in 1958 and it started uh, school in 1959. Can one you imagine? Year old. How? One year old. That's the new Our CGN. ancestors are still living. 1958, 1959. Tinumbu himself, they said he said he didn't go to secondary school, didn't go to primary school. I don't know if you had that report. That is what I need to use against And him. Our youth now, we are reading like <laughs> we are going to die. What are you not saying? We are reading, for, but for, after, for after, 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 after finishing the old education and reading, like, I mean... Those that went to school, they don't have a job, but people that didn't go to primary and secondary connection school... Now. Are the ones ruling, now connection now. Connection, connection. Not, that, have, not that Tinubu did not he, go to school. He, he went to school. Mm -hmm. Even during that time, our, uh, our Lord gave free education. He went to school, but he's trying to hide his age. Hmm. Take a look at it. Mm. That's another you can't tell me that you know, the, nobody act. if you sit down and think at it think very well meditate uh, use your intelligence he yeah. went to school but he's trying to hide his age mm. because mm. if he bring the certificate he will now say you are 70 years your daughter is or maybe 90 or almost no he, his daughter your lady of lagos is a uh, 60 <laughs> i mean 70. Yes. so does it mean 10 years will you get 10 years now? I mean, it's not possible <laughs> so wikipedia he changed his profile Different time, many times. So not that, that he is identity he's, crisis. He's trying to hide his age. So these are the leaders we are talking about. Let's not talk about them. Let's talk about the way forward. Now the way forward is what that. What we do now? Now what we do is, you see, the last uh, the last election. Let me look at. The, we have over a hundred million youths in Nigeria. Okay, Co wait, 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 jokes wait, Mr. Stanley. Before mm -hmm. you look into, because you are the <coughs> people we need you to tell us what do we do as youths in Nigeria. Like our rise or compatriots, <laughs> Nigeria call on base. You know, if we look at our national tell don't let's what do we do? Well, I think the the first thing is that we need to go back to the drain board. To go we, back to the drain. Yes, we need board. to go back to the drain board. Okay. Uh the first uh sources is to identify a problem and accept the problem. When you identify a problem and you accept our youth can accept yes, that people, they are if, really not working. Our leaders as well. It's not just look everything okay. is that twine though. That's okay. just the truth. Everything Vice is that yes, is it that twine? Okay. Is that twine? You have good youth, bad leaders will be problem. You have good leaders, bad youth, yes, problem. You know, everything is that twine. So if we can go back and accept that okay, this is where we are. This is the problem of Nigeria. Everybody accepts it, both the youth, the leaders accept it. What is the way forward? And we all put, you know, our minds together on how to move forward. I think it will be a good start. Mm. I think it will be a good so start. So agree our fault. How about you? Yeah, I agree with him. He uh, said it all and if only, to me, all what we are saying, we are all on the right track. But if only the elders, we say, okay, youth, come, let's try you. Come, let's work together. Everything will be better. But now like we are all speaking. We are we are saying the right thing. But the elders are they ready to give us the chance? Mm. Like this, uh, this governor said. He said we they should give a youth the the room to for election to be one of the election candidates. Uh, what's the name of this uh, governor? <laughs> the youth leader, uh, Mr. 
What's his name? Do you still do that? Which, uh, is it for? For Ogun State. Uh, the youth. Uh, Mr. Mr. What is this? That is name. Of? The youth. Is it the a, youths, poli- uh, a political party? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which political what party? party? Is it APC? That uh, me, Doctor. Doctor. Uh, in, in the last news, the previous news we we did uh, last last week. We 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 we'll get to it, but let me let me let me give my own. Uh, give me, give uh, me what I think we should do mm-hmm. uh, as people. Number one, we, we need to get ready to. Uh, I don't know whether people like this one. We need to get ready so that we can uh, sacrifice our lives. Hmm. Our youth are, af- more, are afraid to, are afraid to give give uh, their lives ah. for this cause. Yes. <laughs> because the lives that have gone, where is where is the you know, where is the end of the story? Know, because now the reason why uh, answers did not persist is because when they started shooting, people had to back down. They know that these people they know that when they start with violence, youths will back down. Mm-hmm. And they are ready to use Doctor Odo. If you go Odo. to see, if you go to other 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 I clients, just other clients yes. the youth will, will if you want to kill us, mm-hmm. you kill us. Nobody's going back. And they will have mm-hmm. their way. Just go to that place and shoot one bullet. Mm-hmm. Everybody is camping. Yes, like Doctor Odo, search it for me. Search for me. I want to, there's a statement because in the last news, last week news, we talked about giving the youths, um, uh, allowing the youths to be one of the let the delegates give the youths permission to roll to be part of the candidates in Nigeria. It was oh, after then it will be resigned from uh, he, he left a, a, a APC. No, no, Peter will be left, uh, PDP. yeah, a PDP to yeah. so Labour Party. So it was Dr. Odo. Please search it for let, let me confirm it. Because he made a statement if, if many, majority of our leaders, too, looking into the details, are getting their eyes widely open. If you agree with me, some of them have been reasoning that it's necessary to allow the youth you understand, to be part of this candidate of Nigeria. So it means if we youth now now get up because it is it has become um, a topic online. If you follow up news, you see that previously they have been mentioning youth uh, to be this youth, this and even on Twitter. Look at uh, uh, Macaroni uh, uh, Charles. What is this lady, this woman um, on Twitter? The the previous the two days it was it three days ago that we were arguing this about the youth. Okay. Is it macaron, uh, macaroni and uh, yeah, and uh, what is her name? What's this woman's name? Excuse me. <laughs> hey, this is a singer. This singer's name. Oh, uh, hey. on Twitter. That is what they're talking about. The youth, like the youth, to be permitted to. Someone that sang adults with nothing. Is it that what one you're talking about? No, there are many. There are uh, many. There are 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 many celebrities that that are really supporting the youth nowadays. A lot of them. So, and as well, the leaders started it. One of the delegates, one of the leadership, uh, the the the, our elders in the government, as one of them started this. Like so, Doctor Odo, Doctor something said the previous week. So, like, if this has been occurring, you said like Mm -hmm. youths should get. Let's we youth to then show up. Look, look at it. I'll be now. We say Bitao Bitao B, yes, Bitao B tried to get up, but financially, if I'm wrong, quote me wrong, was not uh, able to meet up, no, with those money, money, money that they were putting down. Okay. If we you then there are several you that has money. Am I wrong? Yeah. There's several you that has money. Let, why can't we you that have this money, you understand, get up to support the shoots it's and let him get up? It's not even about the money. In the first place, why the why that high amount of money? I think it's about uh, if I'm if I'm right. Is it hundred? APC uh, hundred. I mean <laughs> hundred million. Is that is, um. is, we want vision? We want to see vision. We want to see that your promises are realistic. Yes, you, are, right. you must make referral to what you have done so that we can say, okay, yes, if the president have done this, I would we have seen it. That means there is hope that there is something for us in the future. It's not about we're not here to flaunt weight or who has the no 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 it's not ne- it's not even necessary. I'm not saying that there should not be a pride or whatever, but I just feel it is too extravagant, it's too exuberant. I mean, yeah, it's very very it's not logical to me. It's not logical to me at all. Okay, let's look at the employment aspect of it. Our youth do not have interest in the farm anymore. 
Okay. Yes, we have been talking about our elders, but these our elders are so much, I mean, interested and familiar with farmlands and planting and you know bush thing. But our youth of nowadays do not have any interests into the farm, like weeding, like cutting grass and stuff like that. So how do you? If you so, want to go into farming, how will you? How will you go? Uh, okay, this is what I'm saying. That our youth, why <coughs> can't a majority of our youth do not have interest to own a farmland? So mm -hmm. what will make you interested? Like in this something must for the interest. See. Well, how how will you see in this Nigeria okay. as the um, the employment is going? Mm -hmm. We all know that the more we have interest as youth to own a farmland, to at least try and own something tangible of uh, like food. Food are so uh, a lot of things <coughs> is expensive. This one is expensive. Hmm. We do not have this idea. Why can't we bring our own idea in Nigeria's youth? You understand? To also inv invest in something to no, make it, a farmland. My question. My mm -hmm. question. Okay, for instance, uh, I'm a youth. Advise yeah. me on how to go into farming. Okay, if you want to go into. Okay, I'm interested. And what opportunities I'm interested. do you have? Okay. To, I'm interested. With your ideas. What are the steps I would take to go into farming in present Nigeria? Nigeria. Okay, the little money you have. Which money? I don't Hello. I don't have money. Hello. No, 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 no. You cannot tell me. See, your father and your mother to have brought you up. They have struggled in the farm, going to farm. Do you know to, how many people are poor in Nigeria? No, in case, the, the, the number of, of, of this poor little people. you have. Okay. The little like you how much? have. Like how much? How much? You know, it, there are a lot of farmlands now that they are saying that if you want to grow, you want to plant this thing, you make this amount of money, which is real. It's actually real. The, fa mm. the farming aspect of it is real. No, but I, I, majority you're not, you're not getting me. I said, okay, for instance, I just finished NYC. Okay. I just finished NYC. You know, it, it takes a lot to go to school. Okay. Okay, how do I get money? Okay, you finish NYC. And I come to meet job. you. I say, I'm interested. I have a beautiful in idea. You have a beautiful idea. So, how do I get Where's the opportunity? Say, you need to fall to start to help yourself. If you always wait for somebody, daddy, or somebody to sponsor to help you, you will. In, uh, uh, the way Nigeria is. You're advising me. Yeah, the way Nigeria is. I say, let's I'm say, not waiting for anybody. I want to no, make myself now. You, that is why many of you youth, many of us youth going to fraudulent hearts and start being so Yahoo. how do we help ourselves? Yahoo, because he wants quick money. Go in you a low-key. You're not low giving key. me solution. Listen they're, now. They're, they're castigating me. Listen. Go in a low-key. Mm -hmm. Try and force, if it takes you uh, that you will have to struggle to get any kind of money, okay. that even that would disrespect your your personality or your, your, your qualifications. Okay. Do it because you want to do it for a short period of time to get some amount of money to invest in farming. Uh, as a majority, so do not want to do this. We are not giving solution. Mm -hmm. like, I'm advising you. Yes, okay. I think. You sorry, finish sir. school now, you don't have a job. In, 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 instead of you sitting at home and joining some bad guns and start making Yahoo thing, why can't you just bend low, put yourself low? Don't be too gagaraga as we used, used to be. No! <laughs> Our you youth nowadays don't buga too much. <laughs> okay. Put yourself in a low key, do any kind of job. You know that you know who you are. Mm -hmm. You are going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Try and gather some money and invest into farming. You understand? Don't until we have. You say people that want to sponsor somebody. You need to have something on ground. This is what I've been able to get. I need your support. Not like I don't. I want to do this. I don't have any money. I don't have. I've not done anything. I am okay, zero. Okay. Okay. When you go to Israel, there are farmlands already in place whereby if you just come out from school, you can go okay. to a farm settlement and you see uh, employment to work. Mm -hmm. You are not giving me an answer. This yeah, is Israel. Hello, no, this is Nigeria. I'm talking about. So, like we are I'm saying, about Nigeria. there are no opportunities. That's what I wanted. There are no opportunities yeah. like that. Look, look, I know so Nigeria. So let me, even, let, if if I want to advise somebody, okay. Eh, number one, we have various challenges now. You have, if you go out to a farm, you have the issue. You know, farm sovereignty. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh, this uh, man that started uh, a fair. Mm -hmm. the daughter was killed by a full and years mm -hmm. in the farm. Mm -hmm. Many farmers have been killed in the farm. Insecurity. Many farmers have been abducted, and the money you are using to farm, they abduct you, and you can pay millions of naira on the farm. These are issues you need to look at. Insecurity. All in that point. Something <laughs> happening. Insecurity. Now, you, now you shut my mouth. between insecurity. Something happening. Happening in Badagri. A mm -hmm. cow straight off the, the road and one, to the one, farm. one bus. Not farm. A cow straight off the road and a bus in the city. Mm -hmm. Not when a cow enter your farm and eats your crop, they kill the guy, and eat your crop. What will you do? Now this, this is not something that we have to go Insecurity. For. As as I am, I'm from Benin State. Insecurity. Okay. Ah, but they, they, a farmer. They, 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 they. Insecurity. That's why. That's why. Yeah, I can agree with you. Insecurity. Like now, Nigerian is 
security. Now, can I, I can agree? Can I can be silent because of that. In farming, okay, he has without without statement insecurity. He has finished everything because now in building to be not safe. Hmm. All our crops will be eaten up by the with flanny s men. And when you when you see something, you are gone for the day. If you are alone, you are, if you are not strong, they will kill you. Nobody will come and ask. Hmm. You you waste your you waste your time and in energy Lagos in farming. Yeah. In Lagos, yeah. Then full, uh, then cows come and eat the crops. Then you want us to come and die in farming. Go to water farm. Can cow enter water farm? Cow. You cannot see any cow. Well, any time you are planting, you should also know that you make a security for your farming. You now want to pay security. Okay. <laughs> so let, let me come in. Let me come in. Every now and then, our to. papa used to go to farm every day. <laughs> Wait. That was then. Where, where was where is They it? go to farm where? and check their crops and no, it was not There's no insecurity. But this nowadays, we don't want to do anything farming. We are so, you know. Me, I want to farm. I don't think you are. You want to say farming is a farm. I have been to the farm. There are many aspects. I grew up farming with my grandma. Wait. I have. You've not been to the farm. Wait. There are many aspects. There are many aspects of farming. Mm -hmm. It's not as if youths don't want to farm. Okay. I tell you, if that's what will bring money, legit, mm -hmm. many youths will dive into farming. Oh. Many. If it's a legit business, that would, it, hard work is not a problem. I'm telling you, if that's what will bring money, they will dive into it. The problem has always been, there is no opportunity. You see, you go back to the starting point. There is no opportunity. You can't just bring, give birth to a newborn baby and say, start talking. You're supposed to be talking. It's not possible. Or you will teach that child how to talk. Or you push him to the farm. Or you push him to the farm. Says, I start. You will grow with it. it. Eh? You leave the school. Or you are, you are a graduate. You are finished NYC. Nothing. You want to start life. Mm -hmm. There is no platform or there is no bedrock for you to begin life. Okay, let me shock. That is a problem. Say, shock, say, you let me shock you. Listen, listen, listen. We are listening. Say, say. I'm not sure. I will not shock. <laughs> Those uh, British mm -hmm. that are building cars, building this, mm -hmm. building that, is this their intelligence? There was a platform for them to operate, okay, and they well. built on that platform, and now it has metamorphosed into something beautiful. In Nigeria, we don't want to eat our rice; we want to eat foreign rice. Where to? In Nigeria, we don't want to buy our Nigerian kenikon. We will say it's not this and that, and we cannot try and come together as youth. As youth to build, do, to do something, okay. and we will say it's a foreign one that they are bringing for us. Expensive. No, way. let's start with the farming. Yeah, going, going to. The uh, we are okay. Place. You know, I I I pause with no, the farming. I pause. The point, oh. Lazy, lazy, our co president Shuku, behave yourself. <laughs> See, I pause because of security. As I said, yeah. if you hear me, I said okay. I suddenly we need security. Our government are hearing no. We need security. Security is very Seriously. important. Okay, that's why I pause for farming. So I now look into another perspective. Because uh, um, manufacturing, uh, our, our, we are we, to, to build, having, using our intelligence. You understand? Mm. The intelligence that God has deposited in us to do something new, to support ourselves, those that are even doing it, to add to it, to join. Because those work that are bringing all those things for us is your brain. Yeah. Why can't we use also use our brain? No, no. Say, oh, tell me. Say, can I say something? Enabling <laughs> environment. Uh, well, no, don't always depending on them. Most of the doctors, not always best doctors, doctors in the world, they are Nigerians, but they are not in Nigeria because when they go outside, they try. There's never for them to See, operate. The little we have, let us first make use of it. Okay, now, let us create the environment. We are not youth. allowed to create the Riding, environment. Riding uh, distance. You it's too. Like this your boy is the day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not against I'm I'm not against anybody here. I'm just talking in with general mind. I'm a youth. I'm supporting my youth, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling us reality because in, in when I look at we youths, yes, we are suffering a lot and it baffles me and it pains me and it hits my skin. But do you know that let us yes, our Nigeria is a is a really wonderful country that we hope our governments are hearing us. Do you understand? Yeah. So but we, in the meantime, what we have, okay, let us try and make use of it. Are we it. not making use of it? We are not. Many of us are not saying we are not. 80% we no, are not. What, what are we not making use of? As I said earlier, I said, why can't we use our intelligence 
to support those who are trying to make something in Nigeria. You see, now, after this program, I'll show you something. Can I, can I come in? There, there are many university students that have done projects. Some do car, some do uh, <laughs> bike. It's locked in the shed. Everything. There are nobody. Even there's a guy that did something. This is a drone in Nigeria. It's a Spanish company outside Nigeria that saw him and took him over car. there. In and Nigeria. they saw they, they bought that boy that mm. intelligence. So, they, they, so you are he, saying he saw this, he saw his own bad right. Then where are the government? And he saw this bad right, he saw this so, own brain. So, I know that. That. He did and not. they were looking at him going. He did not. He did not. He did not. So, he did, did they go to presidential thing to support him? Did they write to <laughs> I'm not supporting the government. I'm not supporting the government. Don't want to go yourself. What yourself? I'm not supporting the government here. Okay, but I'm trying to. Somebody supporting here. Two Niger, he said the lady is correct. Two Niger, Ejo. When there is no enabling environment, how do you strive? You try as much as you can to use your brain, do one or two. No loans. There is no uh there's no reimbursement, no electricity, no that deal. We know that. No electricity. We know we our government are hearing you. They so are uh, they are hearing now. They are hearing now. We are now, we are doing we are just doing our own. Now you are saying you are saying the youth should use their brain. Yes, now. Now let me let me let me say something. A child of three year old who started doing uh this uh, let's say a plastic car. From plastic car to do a Paco car. Then from Paco he started looking for iron creativity to start doing something. I re- then I re- the let government let will be seeing him. Mm. Wait. Not, they will not instead of them to sponsor that child to go forward or to move far. They will be busy packing money. Must it be only governments? Uh, hello, everybody, listen. When we always talk, governments. When we say something, governments. Government. When we do that, government. government. <laughs> please, 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 let me tell you something. Must it be always only governments? Let me, let me answer. There that. are youths that have money. Okay. There are people that are not just government. That have that can. That are youths. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, let us abandon our government. Our government. You understand? Let us hope that one day we will have a good government. But we that are inside at that time doing paco, you know, let us support ourselves. This is my point. Yeah. You get my point now. You support yeah, I, 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 I you. <laughs> ah, you. I, I think I think what she's trying to say. Ah, and leave our yeah, government and know that one day they will change. I, I, I you wish to, we can make the change. Oh, I'm not. I, 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 60, 60, years. 60 years. No, 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 no. Enough, 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 enough yeah, of the change. Man. Enough of that faith. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that faith. I'm okay, just trying let to. Let me support you. Let me support you. Yes, there's a way we can navigate that way. But where I'm looking at politically, let's change things politically. If we change it politically, we can change every other thing. You understand? If we are in power, we understand ourselves. We can make ways for ourselves. If we educate ourselves. We understand that this country uh, we can make it better educate ourselves but we have people that are witches and wizards hmm. that they don't have human feeling at all hmm. so how do you try to survive or progress as under, you said under a system whereby they don't have you at heart educate our mm-hmm. that's the area that's the area i'm as going i'm going we'll be working hard using our intelligence but let's be involved politically to change things Educate okay. ourselves. Yes, let's be involved. Politically. It's still we educate ourselves. That's the only way we can change things. For forget uh, all these ones say I don't want to vote. I don't. If you don't vote, you are still doing yourself. You are going to come back to square one. Exactly. If you want to build a house, for instance, if you want to build a house. You never see your money lavish. Your house. You never see. You never see government tax on you. Land use charge. Go and get a shop. The government. Will with your with your own your own capital that you're gathering yourself. The government <laughs> will tax you. This tax will come. Even your car at the ban. You are talking the, about the tax, tax, tax on now. Head. I'm th- I'm saying that even though you start stand on your own, the government will still collect tax on you. Okay. You understand? Make it more difficult to even survive. The, the, the truth is, the, the, are they the question is, let's be practical now. Are they youths that we have in our dispensation today who are lazy or who are just seated waiting for the government without the government they're not even striving is there any yes. area that's not doing anything yes even but is you outside. hardly hardly will you see i'm not saying it's not possible that's not doing or hardly will you Chuku? see no it's a question if I, if I start to mention you will not leave this place today <laughs> ah, then let's go to the ratio <laughs> you will discover that it's almost infinitesimal because you, you you look at our use of nowadays and you discover that many of them want to work. I know that of a truth, there are few who are 
waiting, seated for the government. Uh, the government is not doing anything. What, what you stand up and be creative, do something. I think that's where the line of thought you are coming from. Yes. But my dear, I will tell you that majority or a great percentage, better percentage of this is still the platform to operate. If there is a platform, then youth will not have excuses to go into fraudulent art. Then we will know that if you have done so, you have no excuse to do so. Because you had the opportunity to do this, but you chose the wrong path. But there is no opportunity. Most of us there are, is no environment. There is no platform. We are trying our best. We are limited because of these things that are not yeah. We are limited. Hmm. Well, still you want me to talk? <laughs> well, well, well. I think, you know, this talk still continue. Guys watching, <laughs> everybody, mommies, daddies, brothers, sisters. You know, we are still on this talk. And we still continue every Tuesday on you talk. And um, before we go, I will say in my own view. That let's have a, a concluding, yeah, concluding statement. I don't know. Yeah. We'll start with uh, let's start with yeah. that. Okay. So before we go, before you come in, okay, I will say the area of educating. You said it, educating ourselves. Please, let us try anywhere we find ourselves. Let us educate ourselves. Because a lot of youths are behaving like nuisance. Honestly, one a lot of youths are so smart, but they neglect their. When you when you were going to school, do you have. Well, I don't believe they are smart. They are intelligent, but they are not smart. They are not okay. Sorry I to agree. say, youth. I agree because <laughs> that is quite let us try to educate ourselves. You know, I can hear some youths still supporting. Hey, ah, it's no booba ba. What do you mean? Jagaba, jagaba. Let them do youths. Yes, I'm not uh, restarting Ubu. I mean, I'm not against you. I'm not supporting any government. I'm not supporting any youth. I'm just me, FZ backing one day. Talk to me for real. All right. So, youth, because of what they will eat, we lost our birthright. Let us try to always educate ourselves. What do you think to this? Uh, well, in terms of education, that is the best way to go. And that is the best way I think we Nigerian youth can move forward. But in terms of education, some might be giving you, some might be lecturing you, telling you the right thing, while him himself, him that is giving you that education, is not doing the right thing. Yeah. Do we think we are still going forward or we are going backward? It's very true. Aggressive. Uh, I'm telling you not to hit money, not to eat government money, not to collect bribe. Meanwhile, I'm the one collecting the other percent bribe. Are we going backward or uh, moving forward? Now, education is good. If the youth can educate his fellow youth, things will go better and things will see a little change. I can't say 100% change you. We cannot have that people who can get, at least get 50% change. If we have been given opportunity to go into politics and to perform a role as a youth of a country, things will get better. Thank you. To educate ourselves, I think he have uh, mentioned the uh, key thing about it. As youth, we need to understand our environment, make use of our environment. Education is not just going to the classroom, <laughs> writing or pen and paper. You know, when talk about education, it has to do with you know maturity, maturity in knowing what to do that is right. And utilizing it appropriately so our youth need to be educated we need to educate ourselves in doing the right thing know when to vote who to vote know that there's a difference between you don't eat your future for a mole of bread yeah or say your bet right because of a guy bag of gary bag or of, bag of, uh, that is even too much maybe two pint of rice uh, two, uh, two tomato no so we need to educate ourselves, not just the youth. Oh, even our elders. We see. I don't know that is poverty. Someone say poverty have blinded so many Nigerians. I don't know how true it is, but maybe you, <laughs> we could define that. But we see that that education is that education is very important on, especially on the aspect like my brother said on politics. So that when we're going to it, we know that okay, there's a vision, there's a mission. This is where we are heading. Look at Dubai. If you look at the history of Dubai 50 years ago and the rest, you discover that. Dubai was like, it's just a desert. But go and look at it now. That's because there was good leadership. Somebody was saying, I was watching a video on uh, WhatsApp, and the guy had it to say, said Nigeria 
is much more better than to buy. But the problem about us are the leaders. Yeah, are the leaders. I'm not saying you are free from corruption or whatever, but let us let us start from the bedrock, from the ground, and begin to solve our issues. So that when we, before you, by the time you there is a correction from the father, before it gets to the son, you will see that <laughs> the son will learn from the father. So we are going back and we are looking at our elders and what we see is things that are negative, not positive. Things that are negative, not positive. Of course, there are things that are also good that we have we can learn. But when you see that, if you look at the ratio, so you find that from one generation to the other, it becomes worse, worse, and worse, and just like that. So we need to go back, educate ourselves, ask ourselves questions. How can we move forward? How can we do the right thing? And once we do that, we see into action and we'll see results. And not only education, and by telling ourselves the truth. If okay. the youth can tell the okay. youth the truth, things will get better. Okay, let's look at the reason why people went out en masse for PVC is because some young persons that had influence on social media had to enlighten people. Like, mm -hmm. get your, we have Peter Koye, we have other artists, we have fans that stood and told people, educated the youth. And also, uh, we as youths in our own little space, let's try as much as we can to uh, educate ourselves and talk to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because we are the, no matter how it is, we are the leaders of tomorrow. Exactly. No matter how it is. For the leaders of now, what is it tomorrow? <laughs> we are the leaders of tomorrow. Try to pay our school. What will the tomorrow come? We are leaders of now. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. I'm so happy to have you on the show today. Mr. Stanley, thank you for coming to Flip TV. Mr. Raphael, yeah. thank you so much you for coming much. to Flip TV. Ah, my co presenter, give me chop, 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 <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Ah, you are too you're, much, you're Joe. Beautiful. Don't worry, <laughs> yeah, we win now. Ah, we, don't worry, we will finish. I, I was, and go eat I, now. I've been enjoying myself here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for coming to the show. And I want to thank all of you viewers that are watching, that are commenting. I love you all with my whole heart. You are darlings, you are sisters, your brothers and sisters to me. So I really want our support. I really want us to talk about the youth. I really want us to come on here every Tuesday is the youth talk. And we will be so much, I mean, enlightened. Thank you all for watching and for my technical Mr. Leko eh Ojeda chop chop thank you so much and for me and my team we want to say thank you for watching and this is Flip TV kindly subscribe like share comment and this talks this continue online and thank you all for watching my name once again is Ftiba Aki and I'm my co-presenter yeah, my name is Chris Denchiko. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. And my name is Rafael. My name is Mr. Stanley. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye.